being able to white label a solution to be able to allow your agency and even all of your sub accounts to allow their contacts to e-sign a document, the wait is finally over. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But I've got a, su a sub account here pulled up and I've got a custom menu link right here. So all you want to do here is just click new document. I'm going to go and show you how I did this with the W9 to make a video quick. I'm going to click edit. I'm just going to update, upload the document. And right here, these are the tags that we just automatically preload. You're going to want to build a workflow that's going to use these tags to take the contact through the workflow based off of the tags that are applied by our system. You go ahead and map it out. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and, and yes, you can add new recipients. Uh, you can add multiple recipients and then it just creates that chain as the first one signed that goes into the second one. We're just gonna go ahead and click next. And then next is where we're gonna map out the fields on the document itself. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at this here real quick. So right here, you can see we use the custom field for the signer's name. So if you wanna have text fields to where the client, the contact, can input text, you can go ahead and do that. Um, then what we have here is we just have the custom fields and then of course the opportunity to allow them to be able to sign. And if you wanna go ahead and increase or decrease the size of that, you can, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and submit. Now, where do these documents go? And then how do you retrieve them or how do your clients retrieve them and take a look at it? You can do it a couple different ways. So I've got a contact card here pulled up and you notice we've got a custom field here for the document link. So if we take a look at the document link, you're gonna notice it goes to a white labeled URL and now I can see it. So I just put in JSON test, it preloads the name and we've got a signature right there. Now, if the agency wants to download an entire list or let's say they need authorization to say, um, what's the IP address? Can we legally use this? Much like we use with uh, DocuSign and PandaDoc. So you can go here, let's take a look. We'll just take a look at this W9 that was filled out. We're gonna take a look at the signer's authentication and it's gonna download a PDF right here. And I'm just gonna show you and it should have the information, the IP address, the sign when it was done and the test text that was entered. So we're excited to be able to release this. Uh, take it for a test drive, 14 day trial, link below. Uh, we look forward to your feedback and enjoy.